Hello everyone, my name is Hyunun Gang and I'm a graduate, graduate student of Panyang University, Korea. My advisor is Professor Simon Song. Today, I'm going to talk about the characteristics of wetting distance in multi-layered paper based channel. First of all, I'll explain the background of our research. Microfluidic paper based analytical devices, also called as micropaths, have attracted a lot of attention in recent decades. These paper-based analytical devices have the advantage of low production cost and easy fabrication. Also, the use of capillary force has the advantage that no bulky external, external devices is required to operate the device, unlike the conventional analysis devices. Because of these advantages, paper-based analytical devices have been widely used in applications that require on-site diagnostics. Despite all these advantages, paper devices have also have some limitations. Since only the capillary force of the paper channel itself is used as the power, there is a limit to increasing the flow velocity. This limited flow velocity increases analysis time when experimenting with high viscous sample, and this improves secondary problems such as evaporation. In addition, when experimenting with samples of complex composition, such as blood, the components in the sample can block the pore and change the flow characteristics. In order to solve these problems, paper-based devices with multi-layered structure have been developed in recent years. Multi-layered paper-based devices refer to the device made up of multiple layers of papers and gaps, and it is generally consisting of two layers of paper and one layer of gap. The most distinctive feature of these multi-layered devices is their up to 10 times faster flow velocities and up to 150 times higher flow rates than conventional single-layer paper channel. This high flow velocity and flow rates make it possible to experiment with high viscous samples in paper-based channel in a short time. Another advantage of multi-layered devices is that they are free from clogging issues, so unlike conventional devices, as the main flow occurs in the gap space. In order to utilize this multi-layer channel in many applications, it is very important to know the flow characteristic occurring in this channel. In general, flow generated by capillary reaction can be represented as Lucas wash equation derived from the force balance of the capillary force and viscous drag. This path is simple form, this equation predicts flow well and is still used by many researchers to this day. However, the flow that occurs in a modular paper based channel differs from this conventional model. This difference is due to the complex structure of modular paper channel, which are obviously different from the conventional model that assumes a simple circular capillary. Therefore, in order to explain the flow in a multi-layered channel, it is necessary to understand the flow patterns that occur in this complex structure. The key characteristics of the multi-layered channel we have focused on this study is the transverse flow inside the paper layer. A schematic of the flow in a multi-layered ch paper channel is shown in the figure. First, the main flow occurs in the gap between the paper layers. As mentioned before, this main flow is up to 10 times faster than the flow in a conventional single-layer paper channel. After the main flow in the paper gap occurs, the flow in the paper layers follows. Since the later flow in the paper layers is much slower than the main flow, we assume that the flow in the paper layer would only occur in a direction perpendicular to the main flow, but curly from the gap to the outer side of the paper device. Because the fluid entering the gap takes time to reach the outer side of the paper layers observed by the camera, the flow in the gap and the paper layer differ by some time intervals. This time interval is the key reason that the flow is different from the existing model. We can actually confirm how long it takes to flow from the bottom to the surface of the paper layer in the next video. You can see that it takes time from the moment the liquid at the bottom touches the paper channel to the complete weakness of the outer surface. Of course, this time takes longer as the viscosity of the solution increases, which is why previous study using only low viscous fluid could not confirm this effect. Because of these effects, the observed flow is different from existing model, so it is necessary to develop a new model to reflect these effects. So, the objective of this search is development of a new model for multi-layered paper-based channel flow. In the current stage of the search, we have especially focused on the initial stage of flow and in the case of high viscous sample. 
So, we, have, we will first confirm the flow characteristic of high viscous samples in multi-layered paper based channel, especially in the initial stage of flow, and we will present an improved flow model for multi-layered paper channel that can explain this characteristic well. In this slide, I'll talk about the experimental setup of our research. First, the fabrication method of the multi-layered paper channel is as follows. The multi-layered paper channel consists of two paper channels and one gap as shown in the following figure. Each paper channel has wax wall fabricated using wax printing method. On top of this wax wall, we put double-sided Kapton tape, which is used as a spacer, and then we bonded the paper layers together into one device. This figure shows the cross-section of the multi-layered paper channel. In this study, we used the following pollution solution and the viscosity for each glass and fraction is shown in the following table. As you can see, it has a higher viscosity than the sample used in common experiments. The experiment was carried out by placing the channel's inlet into the source to create the flow and capturing the flow using the camera as shown in the following figure. <coughs> From now on, I'll talk about the research of our research. First, let's compare the flow characteristic of each of the single and the multi-layered paper channels. The graph shows the wetting distance of the flow in each paper channel over time. As you can see, the multi-layered channel flow is more than 10 times faster than the single-layer channel flow, but made from conventional model, especially in the initial stages. Similar characteristics appeared in all cases we experimented, and we found the cause of these characteristics in the complex flow pattern of the multi-layered channel mentioned before. In this slide, I talk about our developed model. First, in this study, we assume that the main flow occurring in the gap follows the existing Lucas Washburn model. So the wetting distance Lg is obtained by the Washburn equation like this. In order to find the wetting distance Lp in the paper layers, we actually observed we first calculated the time tau the liquid travels through the transverse flow from the gap to the outer surface of the paper. Since the transverse liquid flow in the paper layer also followed the conventional Washburn equation, the relationship between the thickness h of the paper layer, which is the distance to be moved, and the travel time tau can be obtained as follows. The wetting distance Lp in the paper layer we are trying to find follow the wetting distance in gap with the time interval of tau, so this can be uh, expressed by the formula like this. By substituting tau into Lp equation, we can actually finally obtain the wet wetting distance equation. We compare the results obtained by experiments with the results of our new model. In this slide, we show our model and the experimental results. We experimented with four different concentrations of glycerin solution and experiment was run four times for each sample. As you can see, our model is in good agreement with the experimental results compared to the conventional model represented as Washburn equation for all cases. This is the conclusion of our research. We proposed an improved flow model for multi-layered paper-based channel, microfluidic channel. We experimented the high viscous flow flow and checked the flow characteristics. We presented an improved theoretical model of multi-layered paper version of flow suitable for high viscous fluid. We expect this model to provide further insight into the development of paper-based microfluidic devices using sample with high viscosity. In this present study, we focused on the early stage of the flow and on high viscous samples. But after initial stage, our model is still different from the experimental results. This is probably the result of complex interaction between the gap and paper layers, and we will work on this in the future. Thank you for listening to my presentation.